great to have you with us in this fantastic Beko kitchen where you can see all our shiny new appliances. And Mark, we're going to put them to use because we are making spicy chilli chicken. We certainly are. I'm going to okay. put you to use as well. Yeah, what do you want me to you do, can Chef? prep the chicken. Okay, I'll prep the chicken. I'll just wash my hands first. It's chicken. Um, okay, cool. And what are we going to do with the chicken? Right, are we so going to marinate it or anything? Yeah, yeah, so we're just going to marinate it, get some flavour into that. So you can... You can uh, cut it into nice sort of thick strips okay. and then we're going to give it a marinade and then we're going to grill it in the uh, griddle pan. Get okay. some nice colour on there. How thick do you want? About there? Yeah, yeah no, that's good. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, nice. And what you're going to do is pop into that bowl in front of you. Okay. And then, then you can shred these kaffir limes uh, leaves up as well and then <laughs> pop that into it. Okay. <laughs> right, right, that's one lot done. <laughs> I was trying. I was just. I was going slow there to show everybody at home how you cut a chicken. Okay, cool. Very, I'll speed it up. Mike. Yeah, there so you go. normally in the recipe you'd, uh, you'd marinate it for an hour, but uh, we're, on, <laughs> we're gonna have to do it quick, quick. Yeah. By the time Mike's finished cutting it, we've lost 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm gonna leave that bit there. Okay, cool. And the kaffir lime. What are we doing with that? Kaffir yeah, leaf? so pop all the chicken into the bowl, yep. and then you can. Um, Julienne that. Do you remember what that meant? Uh, cut it finely? Yeah. yeah. Cool. They're getting quite good. I might get a job soon. <laughs> you do. I don't know, could you put up with me in your kitchen, Mark, at your flash restaurant? I'll be too busy eating everything. That would be my problem. <laughs> Wait for your chef, you're allowed to do that. Oh, it's okay. tasting. It's tasting. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, so I'm going to start off just in the wok here. I've just got some sliced onion, so I'm just going to start <laughs> cooking that down. Let's just say my julienne is more a julienne. <laughs> um, it's all flavour, get it in. <laughs> just have to pick it out after. <laughs> okay, cool. Hang on. I'll go this way. Which is the best way to do it then? Go this way or that yeah, way? No, yeah, you can, you can go that way, that's good. Okay, just, just cool. Just watch your fingers. <laughs> okay, good. Well, you know, I'm not the best at cutting things. Apart from shapes on the dance floor. No, oh. just. just. <laughs> oh, God. Please. Mel, are you any good at prepping food? I'm better than you. Yeah, right, yeah. That's not what your boys say. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, no, but this is smelling divine. Yeah. Yeah, that's great, Mike. Just yeah. pop it. Pop it in. Is that enough? Yep. I can smell all those flavours yeah, no, it's good. Release. And you'll, you'll get the flavour from it. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to put a little bit of coconut milk in there as well. And you, you know how to make me feel that, good. Um, Thanks, Mark. <laughs> okay, good. Give that a nice good stir around. Okay. And then, uh, you know, just marinate that as long as you can. Yep. Right, we've got some ginger here as well, so I'm just going to mm. chop that up. It smells so good. And that's what, you know, it doesn't matter how you chop them, it's all about getting the flavour into the chicken, isn't it? <laughs> And of yeah. course you can go to the cafe.co.nz if you want this recipe if you've been distracted by my appalling attempt at cutting. <laughs> well, and I've got some lemongrass as well. Right. So you get some lemongrass in there, so we're really building building the flavours up in this sauce. So just keep keep it over a nice sort of medium heat. Mm. You, want to, you want the heat to bring out all those flavours, but you don't want to, we don't want to burn these onions or burn any of these spices. Keep it nice and aromatic. Okay, good. Right, and then next, some chilies. Because it is um, chilli chicken. I'm going to put a couple of uh, couple of chilies in. So nice fresh chilies. Just going to slice them, get them in. We'll leave the seeds in as well. So it's going to pack a bit of a punch. We've got some ketchup as well, which is going to bring it together. Some soy and uh, a little bit of sugar, so it'll sort of balance off a little bit. And the nice thing is too at the moment is that lots of produce is growing really well with these sort of weather conditions we're having, you know, it's warm, yet it's a little bit of rain, it's like my lawn is growing so fast, so oh, I'm sure vegetables are, are doing the same. Yeah, I've got to grow chilies at home as well, so, and I tried one the other day and it was so spicy. Oh, good. Because of the heat, yeah. Hey, right, Mark, we are back into this chicken, so what do we need to do now? Because things are smelling fantastic here. Right, so you've got the chilli in there, that's sort of softened, all those flavours have gone into the onions. A little bit of brown sugar yep. in there. Nice. Just let that sort of dissolve and start melting down. And then we're going to put a little bit of soy sauce, so get the saltiness from that. Yum. And some depth. We'll pop bit of our ketchup in as well. So this is going to bring the whole sauce together. Fantastic. 
This is flavoursome as, isn't it? Okay, you can turn it down now, mm -hmm. stir it all together. We just want to sort of cook it out. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of coconut milk in there as well. Okay. In a sec, once we get, um, once we get down. But we've got a nice griddle pan, so just check it's nice and hot. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm feeling hot, which is good. So that's good. So you can pop a little bit of oil in there. Okay. And then you marinated chicken strips. I'm yes. just going to lay them across the uh, bars and then just get a nice high heat. And you want nice colour on those um, uh, pieces of chicken there. Uh, okay, good. So. Oh, yeah, there's the sizzle. That's there you go, that's want. what you want. That one I didn't cut very well, but there you go. So this ideally, how long did you say we should be marinating this for? Oh, about an hour. Okay, cool. Depends how long it takes to chop. <laughs> that's it, that's it. That's that's yep, yep. Right. right, and then we're going to finish the dish with some coriander. So yeah. when we put the coriand coriander in, obviously it wants to be right at the end. All right. So you're going to use the leaves right at the end. Because it's really soft herb, any heat's going to make them go brown. So just before you serve it. Okay, okay nice. but, but we've got these nice stalks. Yeah. So don't waste them. Yeah, we're not going to waste them. We're going to put them in now. So we're just going to sort of chop the stalks and yep. we'll cook them. And that'll give us a nice flavour as well. And how do you know when the, the sauce is ready? Well, we're sort of, you know, it's quite thick now. We've reduced it down. I'm just going to pop a little bit of coconut milk in there. Brilliant. Just to give it a bit. And then I'm going to reduce it down again. And we want a nice thick coating sauce. So when our chicken's ready, we're just going to toss it through. It's all going to stick there. We're going to serve it with some coconut rice, or you can serve it with some steamed buns, or put it in some tacos, or just eat it in front of the rugby. <laughs> nice. Whatever you want. No, it sounds delicious. That's good. And then uh, last minute as well, just a little bit of lime as well. So it'll just cut, cut the rest of that sugar yeah. and just bring the dish alive. Okay, good. So have a look at your chicken. Yep, sweet. I'm going to pass me a fork there, Chef. Thanks. There you go. Okay. So nice, nice colour, and then we'll flip it over. No, so a little a bit, bit more. Longer. And don't be scared to sort of, you know, not heavily caramelise it, okay? So, you know, get some really dark lines on that chicken because that's all flavour. Okay, good. Yeah, no, so definitely needs a little bit longer. So I'll look after this. Is yep. that all right? Yeah, and that's You're it. All ready to go. Yeah, I'm just going to chop that. I've got my coconut rice just in the rice cooker there. Yeah. Nice. And that's, that's ready to go. So a really, really fast, simple dish, but packed full of flavour. Packed full of flavour, all right. Smelling delicious. And of course, you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Just let me check this chicken one more time. No, it still needs a little bit longer, I think. Oh, yeah, no, it's great. Look at this. Nice. Beautiful. Chicken's, uh, chicken's cooked. Sauce is ready. It's nice and glazed. Just mm. pop it over that coconut rice. Yum. And you get to try it. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, bring it over.